this? What's that for? What's going on? That oh. is for lying to me about you and Charlie West. What? And that oh. is for getting done for drink driving. What? That is for lying to me about what doctor said. And this is for sleeping with Moira. I never did, I can swear. You lie. Dragged him on from somewhere. Well, I wish you'd tell him to crawl back to where you got him. Ask him if you don't believe me. Go on, ask him about that letter that you wrote her. What's she on about? I don't know what and I don't care. Come hang on, hang on. Let's... I don't know. Tell me. Leave her alone. That's... Yeah, well, that's what you are, innit? A stupid, foul slag. <gasps> I'm sorry. Until you... Time. With Eileen. What? Have you any idea what I've been going through? Have you? Seen you two kissing in the street. Drinking together in my local. So it's my fault, is it? What I'm I don't believe you. What I'm trying to say is... You two had everything going. You had Sheffield and stuff. I had nothing. I had to do something. Control. Yeah, but you couldn't, could you? Hey, You couldn't control it, could you? You can't do anything right. You couldn't even kill yourself. What I did, what I tried to do was wrong. What you tried to do was right. Damn right. The only thing wrong was that Dennis got caught up in it all and ended up dead and not you. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. You're no good to anybody, you. I wish you died in my car. Oh, you better add. Oh, no, 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 Served cold. Well, there you go. Oh. It is that cold enough for you. I am so sorry I ruined your top. You're a good oh, enough for Janice. Oh, come on, get out, Janice. Oh, it's all right. Look, I'm going. I'll just get me out and be cold. There's a battery no. move, Janice. Battery move. Time of our life. Fancy clothes, neither. Do they make fancy clothes for little people your height? Cheeky cow. Will you started it? You, Janice. Oh. Oh. Give it up, will you? You're spotting more wrestling on the side. Looking up to him to get your job, so what you have to know? You stupid cow. You're just pathetic. Yeah? Well, it's not me that's all over him, lady. If you want pathetic, look in the mirror. You're so jealous. What of? Throwing myself all over some fella just to get on in the world. Hey, you would. Oh, you oh, 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 Calm down. Will you calm down? I've had enough of this, mate. I'm going. You coming, Fizz? Angela? What's your name? Oh, I won't be yours. Oh, oh. right. Oh! Let go! No, you let go. Oh. <laughs> On your bike. Hurts, oh. does it? No, no, no way. You're just a lightweight, you. What about that? <laughs> a nut bite. Oh. What the hell are you doing? Oh, shut up, you! This is women's work, this. Br break it up, the pair of you. Leave us! Look, you've got it all wrong. He's now between me and Jan. Ha! I wouldn't touch him with a barge pole. At least, not after he's been with you. <laughs> that never stopped you going to the pub with him. I went to the pub with him because he asked me to. Did he tell you that, then? Oh, yeah, right, as if. Fizz told me! Ow! Oh, did she now? Did she? Well, she would do, because she's like the concerned daughter. So she'd tell you. So if there's anybody giving any warnings, it's me. I'm watching you. Les might be a stupid idiot, but I am not going to let you take him for a ride. I won his services last night, fair and square. And I'm glad that you're worried, because you should be. <laughs> I'm not worried. You? You're nothing. Now. Could you back off, please, lady, before I chuck some at you? Surprised, are you? I'm afraid Les couldn't make it. But that's what you get when you send a little boy to do tarts work. Leave my son out of this. Oh, like you have. What kind of a mother uses her own child to do her dirty work? Tells him to poison Les against me. What, is this true? All I said was no one could love Les as much as me. Oh, it's a shame you weren't saying that when you were two-timing him. I made a mistake. No, love. I did. Thinking I could reason with scum. 
I should have known give you an inch and you'll take a flaming mile. Well, I am warning you, lady. If I get one single whiff of that cheap scent near my home in the future, and you will be in a lot more trouble than you can handle. You are bored! Do you hear me? Happen they can hear you in Wigan. What business would that be, fatty? Just get out me row! Don't you lay one finger on me, or I'll snap your flaming arms off. Come on, cool it, the pair of you. What are you up to, ma'am? Tell this friend of yours I'm a mother going to see her kid. Oh, you're such a loving mother. So loving, you don't even know it's a school day. Have you ever heard of school? You're just hanging round here to slime all over Les. It's not to do with you what I'm doing here. Just because you're frightened of losing your boyfriend. It's got nothing to do with Les. It's about that daft stunt you pulled on me yesterday. Don't know what you're talking about. Right. A nice big piece of prime steak. Come on, make my day. Mum, she means it. I'll pick Jess up from school. <laughs> this right! You cheeky cow! She Ow! was a dancer and a rat! Yeah, go on, Janet. Save me the bother. Are you all right? What have you done now, Maria? Oh, yeah, blame me. She kicked it off. I knew this would happen. I said there'd be trouble. You think you're better, don't you, just because you work in the Blue Rinse parlour? Uh-huh. You two fighting over me? Hey! Chesney! Get here now, you little basket case! You want me? It will hurt! And you, you little cheeky cow! That hurt! George! Right. Uh -huh. Get off me, Chesney, you playing wazzock! And you, madam, get in the house right now. You won't lock it up, you did. Sophie! We are. Oi! Right! you'd have a better chance of keeping them on. What did you just say, then, Lady Penelope? Oh, forget it, Jan. You're pathetic. Not that I'm making any judgments. I mean, I suppose it's a real moment for you, this, isn't it? Her sleeping with your boss. I suppose it's what passes for ambition for your kids on planet Battersby. You cheeky, stuck-up cow! Oh, Janice, forget it. Don't let them wind you up. I suppose I'm just gonna have to get used to this. Oh, are you surprised after what you did? Uh, Mouth? Whose side are you on? Whose side? You little cow! Oh, 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 No. Oh, well, maybe you could explain where I'm getting it wrong. You get a phone call from your pimp, a uh, agency, and they tell you to meet an old bloke in a posh hotel. So you get yourself all spruced up, get yourself down here, drink his drinks, laugh at his pathetic jokes, go up to his bedroom, drop your drawers and take his money. Now, what part of that am I getting wrong? Sorry to interrupt. Rachel, your taxi's ready. Rachel? Who the flaming hell's Rachel? Thanks for having mouth, you know, the boyfriend. The one you do it with for free. <laughs> oh, oh, I come here! Yeah, yeah, oh, me. Do something! Oh, no, I'm not going in the taxi. Oh, yes, stop it, me! Janice, stop! Get it off! Janice, get it off! Janice, get off! Janice, get off! Janice, get off! Janice, get off! Nah, nah, Kelly's got a mean right hook. I can vouch for that. Yeah, yeah. Janice's teeth there. Get off! I do not want to be talking about you like that. Why not? It's true, innit? Oh, Leanne. Okay. All that.
that money you've spent on your daughter's education and she turns out to be no but a cheap type. Oh, no, Sally, no, no. let her go. Come on, Webster. Oh, Come on, alert. Hey, what is going on here? Nothing, Mrs. Connor. It's just a bit of handbags. I don't see any handbags. It's just a scuffle now, else. She called my daughter a cheap tart. Did she? Maybe you ought to go on. Me? Yeah, you heard. She was the one who started it. I'd finish it and all if they'd let me. Are we going to get any work done with you here, Sally? No, I don't think so. So go home and calm down. And perhaps tomorrow we can all come back with a clean slate, can't we? I mean it. Any more bust-ups and heads are roll? It is. Woof. <laughs> You'd be hard-pressed to include her in that. You saw so effaced, you, Audrey. You even turned Gail's father gay. Uh, come on now, Jan, that's enough. Yeah, this is getting us nowhere. You think you're so much better than me? Well, you're not. You only need to look at your family to see that. At least my daughter isn't a tart. Oh, change the flaming record. Anyway, what would you call an ageing slapper who marries a grocer to get her hands on his money? May God forgive you for that, Janice Battersby. Anything could have happened to her. Please, you're not looking for her because of you. You stupid, stupid cat. Ah! No, oh! tell her, tell her. Ah! You get out now. <laughs> I'm so afraid. You with your posh school and you just threw it all away. Janice, oh. are you all right? No, I'm not. Because I am trying my best to better myself and put something back in the world and this little madam... Ladies, what's the trouble? She is. I was just reminding her about keeping to the schedule and she, like, totally flipped. She was taking the mickey. Janice, let's talk. No. I don't want to talk about nothing. Julie, bring us some coffee. Biscuits, if there's any left. Somebody chuck her a bone and shut her up. Tell you what, Jan, why don't you dig one of your old ones up for us? Hey. Oh, hey. What the hell's going on here? Oh, I should have guessed. She's flaming striping it. Just you get in the office and let's get this over with right now. I've just got rid of one to a maker. I do not need another one.